time uh, Saturday morning. And it will give Melinda Gaines for Taylor a huge boost. Well, let's hope she runs in fast. Marina Trendenkova in lane one was also a finalist in Gothenburg and was fifth in the Olympic 100 metres last year in Atlanta. I was impressed with her last 50 metres in the Gaines for Taylor semi-final yesterday. Saved herself for the 200 here. Top class athlete drawn lane one. One of the chances outside the couple of heavyweight favourites. Melinda Gaines for Taylor, first Australian woman to make a world or Olympic 200 metre final since Denise Boyd in 1980. She looks Olympic a little more relaxed today, don't you think? Yes, I do. We saw her uh, through the day on the warm-up track not too long ago with the Sport Australia telecast, and uh, she does. Boyley in 68 and 72, those great runs. And then uh, you go back, here's Merlin, Betty Cuthbert in 56 and Marge in 52 to Mudry Jackson. Look at Merlin Otty. She's sure. been to six world championships, and this is her sixth final, and she's had five medals in the 200 going into this. I'd be surprised if she doesn't come out of this one with a sixth. And she does go in as favourite, but she's gone in as favourite before and come away without a gold medal. So I think the key for Melinda is certainly for her to, to make sure she runs relaxed, which is the difference between her last year and this year, but also to make sure she is in touch with 150 metres to go. And if she remains cool, I think the last 20 metres in this race is going to be absolutely vital. Giant singer Sri Lanka, who's been in Australia in the past competing this run the three fastest times of her career and broken the Asian record twice and must be one of the dangers to Otty on form. Pinter Savage second in the 100 final. We've got three women here from the 100 final. Pinter Savage, Miller and Otty and Pinter Savage was just beaten. Remember when she celebrated thinking she'd beaten Marion Jones? Has the fastest time at 200 this year of anybody in this field. Marion Jones was 1 100th faster but not in the 200. Must be a chance. You'd have to say, Bruce, though, that other than Merle Notty, there really is not one outstanding other outstanding athlete in this field. So I think that is why Melinda is in with such a chance. Inga Miller, fourth in the Olympic final last year behind Perek and Otty. Had a hamstring injury about four to five weeks ago, which curtailed her training in the lead-up. Was fifth in the 100 final. Has an outside draw, which will suit her. Her father was an Olympic silver medalist at 100. Leshova, one of the surprises from Russia, national champion, has drawn lane seven, probably the outsider of this field. So two Russians here, and the four by 100 are coming up later, so the Russians are going to be well represented there. And so will um, the French, and Felix, Sylvain Felix, world junior champion in Sydney last year, personal best time coming through, youngest in the final at 19. If somebody told you at the start there'll be a French woman in the final of the 200, you'd say, OK, Aaron or Perec, not Felix. Melinda Gainsford has the third fastest personal best coming into this race, and she has the second fastest time of the season. So that gives you an indication of her form in relation to the others. Obviously, uh, up ahead of her is Merlin Otty, and just up ahead of her in the personal best stakes is Pinter Savage with 22.17, but that was done at altitude. First 20 metres vital for Gaines for Taylor, and I think the last 20 vital for Otty. You'd expect her to be in front in the straight. It's whether she'll hang on. I've got the uh, the nervous palms happening here. Jai Singh has been so strong. Such a revelation here. Linda Gaines for Taylor in two. Jai Singer in four. Otty three. There's Otty. They're almost set. Will she make it three in a row, Otty? Been there a while. Away. Australian got a poor start from Melinda Gaines for Taylor. Oddy was away brilliantly. Pinder Savage away fast. Oddy up to Jaya Singh and Melinda well back at the moment. Pinder Savage and Oddy lead into the straight from Jaya Singh and Miller. Gaines for Taylor's at about fifth. Can't win. Oddy leads. Pinder Savage goes up to her. Then Miller. Jaya Singh flying. Oddy just in front. Pinder Savage comes and it gets her. Pinder Savage. Jaya Singh second. Oddy third. She's done it this time. Melinda out of it, probably 6th or 7th, 22-32. I think Melinda blew it at the start, but she's given it a shot. She must have been tired, but as this lady will be even more tired, she's run one more race than Melinda, and it's kind of nice to see her come through. She did lead the world coming into it, and she thought she'd won the 100 metres and had such improvement in the 100 metres. 
great finish. You can see Otty, and this was the key. We said before the race started that Merlin Otty, the last 20 metres, this was a visualisation that you would find it very hard. Jai Singh has got it for second. Pindasavich first, 22.32. Jai Singh a second, 22.39. Otty third, and then uh, Leshova and Miller, and behind them Trendon Cove. And I think Linda's finished seventh or sixth. Seventh? Seventh placing. Jaya Singh is going to be a national hero back in Sri Lanka. Well, only Duncan White in the 400 hurdles in London in 1948 had won a medal at this level. He was third, so that's a tremendous breakthrough. And for this woman too, and as you say, you uh, feel that she deserves it after the 100. She ran so brilliantly in the 100 all the way through and then felt she'd won the final. And now she can really celebrate. And the time... Not very quick, I'd say it's the slowest time this event would have been won in for years and years. 22-32. Into a bit of a headwind, wasn't it? Oh, he ran a very good bend, as you'd expect. So did Pindasovic. You could see that uh, Melinda was out of it early. Poor start, stood up quickly, never a chance. Two from the bottom. Have a look at this. Already Trandon Cobra and Oddie away from her. And Melinda was always up against it at this point. She was chasing hard. But uh, Otty and Pintasavich were leading. The reaction times were interesting. This last reaction time easily was uh, Jaya Singer. Now watch her come through in the middle. Melinda out of the frame. Otty struggling now when Pintasavich gets to a Miller close enough, but Jaya Singer's the one that finishes the best. And Pintasavich going through. It's the slowest world championship at 200 that we've seen in the sixth edition. So Melinda, I guess it's a, for her, Pat, it's...